Hi guys and welcome to That Brick Show where we film all things Lego. In this quick video, I want to look at the typewriter. Lego just recently announced it. It's a Lego Ideas set. I'm going to have a look at the photos, look at what's being said online about it. And um, literally, it was yesterday, it was like last night, I think it dropped officially, totally by surprise. And I was just scrolling through Instagram and then the video played. Um, so we'll have a quick look at the, le well not the leaks, but the actual official confirmations of that set and I'll let you know what I think about it. Um, I haven't really looked a lot into it, but that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let us know in the comments what you think of this set. It's a bit of a weird one, this one. I think it's it's not even split. I mean, a lot of people really don't, don't like it. I like the idea that Lego are thinking outside the box and they're getting these kind of sets higher up in the, the Lego Ideas results. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Maybe we'll look at the Lego Ideas stuff at some point in another video. Check out our description for ways to enter competitions for our channel as well. Just a quick video about the typewriter. Uh, let's roll that intro, go. Okay, so I've got a split screen thing going on here. So let's first of all do it. Um, so here we go. Uh, and this is the bit here. Oh, that was a previous video I was doing. So let's go to the Lego site. It's not actually on the Lego site yet, the typewriter. I don't believe. Uh, lots of new sets here, but it was it's so new and announced that it didn't really make it to the site. And I was gonna go on Instagram. And I, yep, here we go. So people were, um, commenting etc about it. Let's go and find um, the Lego official post about it. Oh, not that. Not Lego Nillion, sorry. Lego. Let's go to Lego's official post about this because this is the video that I was watching as I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and it, it looked very mysterious at the beginning because it was very kind of eerie video background type thing going on and if I get rid of me. Lots of Technic bits, really interesting, probably stickers unfortunately, but interesting um, round tiles that are used for the keyboard. Just watching this has interestingly different coloured Technic pieces underneath the keys as well. And that's it, that's the typewriter. Now I don't know if I can, is there videos of people? It's obviously aimed at adults because you've got the adults welcome thing. Let's pause that. Spark nostalgia with this Lego replica of an old-fashioned typewriter. Lots of interesting comments here. 4,000, 464,000 views, and this video dropped 19 hours ago. So let's just sort of get an idea of our timeline and see if there's many people commenting about it. I did see it happen last night. There was quite a few people that were talking about it. It'd be interesting to know their opinions. There's one, but this is a different language. This is Rhythm and Bricks. Let's try and get a close-up of it if I can. No, it's not working. Can I get a close-up of it? There's someone at the door. I think that's Albert or Luke, Charlotte. There was no more stuff. bits there, so let's scroll down and look for it. Come on, type right though. You must have more people. That's quite neat. All right, they've added lit lights, elegant bricks. They've added lights to the um, Everyone is Awesome set. Lots of Everyone is Awesome bits. There's another one here. Okay, so Lego CNBRK has some photos. So that's the the box there. Does this expand? It lets me click it, but it doesn't think it's expanding. Okay. Anyway, so yes, the typewriter has got a quirky keys there. These are quite interesting, I thought at least, um, because they're the reels that actually have the ribbon in it, and it comes with a ribbon. Obviously, it's not a working typewriter, but it does go up and down when you press the keys. But it obviously won't print onto it. And that's the back. So it has someone here. Do you get a piece of paper? I think as well to put in it. I think it does. As you, as you type the keys, I think it does move along. I had, I did hear people saying that the typewriter moved along. I don't know the functionality. It kind of needs a better video, but I guess that will be coming from Lego at some point. But obviously, yeah. You, you sometimes you have a pin, don't you? So obviously, when you're typing, it's going along, and then you normally go and then start typing again. And at that point, it moves on down to the next line. So it'd be interesting to see if you can do the roller for the paper to come in, come out, if it has the lift up bit that clamps the paper in. Um, if it jams, it'd be really funny if you could make it jam, because I used to remember whenever I messed about with a typewriter, you'll always end up, if you're either really fast at typing or you're a child and you just mash the keypad and then they all go up and get stuck. I think it looks quite good. Trying to think if there's any other things. Yeah, there, well, there's a handle there, which I think they use a lot on rockets. And they've used tires as the rubber thing. Yeah, there's the clamp. 
So that's the clamp that comes down to keep the paper in. And I, I personally think it looks really good. Uh, shift key, backspace. I don't remember there being a backspace on typewriters. It's been a while since I've actually seen one. Oh, and there's the handle. Yeah, it has the handle there then for um, moving it along to the next line. Yeah, so let's have a look at the next bit. And that's another angle. I'm not 100% sure what this bit is. Maybe that's for the clamp bit here. 100% sure. Um, lots of interesting green pieces. There's a top view, so you can you get like a ribbon. I doubt they rotate. I'm guessing it's just a case of those just go up and down. Um, and there's a middle one there. That's not sure what that's for. It's the sort of set that really needs a video showing how how to use all the bits, or at least how it how it functions. It's quite an interesting little set. Some people may be into this sort of thing. I'm not sure. I like the diversity of all of these things. I mean. Lego ideas, the whole point of it was to open up the idea, open up the imagination to pretty much everyone really on the planet <laughs> that has access to the internet, that has an idea, that wants to submit it, that can get enough people into it. And then once they obviously have reached the thresholds, Lego will consider it being an actual set. So it definitely diversifies the set options. And it, it, we all know it's not going to be for everyone, but the reason these sets get selected anyway is because a lot of people have voted for it. So there's going to be a bunch of people that like this kind of set. Cost-wise, I did see a post about that. Um, I'm not 100% sure though. Let's just go to this view. I'm not 100% sure how much it is, but I'm sure 180 was floating around, I think. Um, I quickly scan for more videos. Like I say, it, ha it dropped yesterday, so I might need to scroll quite away. See if anything sort of catches my eye. Here's another one. So what they said here. US dollars 199.99, 2079 pieces. So let's read this person here. Awesome hobby collections. Lego has announced a new Lego Ideas typewriter 21327. Features a one one scale brick built typewriter that was modelled after the Erica-10 portable typographer that sat on old Kirk Christensen's desk back in the 1930s. This set comes with 217 blah blah blah, 999.99, available on the 1st of July 2021. Let's have a look at the Erica 10 portable just to see if we can do a comparison as to what that might actually look like. I guess that one, strangely enough, I think that's you can actually buy one <laughs> at the same cost as an actual <laughs> Lego set because I think the um, actual Lego set is around this sort of price that doesn't look like what is it? Has it? Is it based on that? No, it's not close enough to look like that. Um, let's try and have another look at some images. Okay, we're getting closer now. Okay, this this looks more like it, but they've all got the cover on it. Yeah, because that was the cover to, I guess, to keep the bits protected. Um, and that's not on. It's not on this one, is it? Where was it? Uh, Instagram, wasn't it? So there's there's no cover that goes over there. So it's, it's loosely based on it. But I need to see one that doesn't have a cover on it because this bit here, this bit comes off. Look, there's all this video. Okay, let's have a look at that maybe because I can't find any bits here. Let's have a quick look at this video. Just see if I can find a screenshot, I don't want to pause the advert, of um, the lid off of it. Okay, so let's try and find, let's pause that, let's try and find, oh yeah, they've taken it off there. Okay, so, okay, it is very similar, obviously it's going to be difficult to um, do that. See, that's how you push the, the bit across and as you type it moves along. Well, actually, you're supposed to use the lever on the top left to do it. And that's it, so you've got the ribbon here and you've got the rollers there and obviously all of your key print. Bit. So it's an interesting, it's definitely an interesting set. I just wanted to quickly do a video to let you know what I think. And I actually quite like it. It's, it's grown on me. It's different, not the sort of thing I would necessarily get, but the ideas stuff is very, um, like I say, very diverse. There's so many different types of things that you can get. I mean, you've got a ship in a bottle, you know, you've got the typewriter, you've got Wally. I'm trying to think what other idea sets were idea sets. The piano. Um, check out our other videos on the piano, you know, so there's a lot of interesting Lego Ideas stuff that's potentially going to be coming out as well. I like it. Let us know what you think in the comments. But like I say, just want to do a quick video to show you some bits and pieces on that. And until next time, see you later. Bye. I keep, how am I going to do thumbnails for these? I do one like this.
Maybe that's enough. Um, there's more videos on uh -huh. my channel. Way more videos. But don't mention the number because this thing yeah. might repeat. <laughs> you have two options. Pick that one and watch more. And Lily, what one do you got? This one's really good. Is it really good? Yeah. I think my one's better. I think no, they should pick mine. No, no, mine's way better. No, this one. No, this is like the winner winner chicken dinner. No, definitely, definitely pick this one. 